What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wayworth Racing. Now, iRacing has just dropped its 2022 Season 3 update, and one of the things I was curious about was the new modeling <clears throat> of the tire wear. So, what I've done is just kind of sped up the process and just kind of see what it looks like. So, you can see the normal wear that they implemented last time and then you can start to see the cords show through as the tire wears down now of course we don't all take the time to kind of look and see what this looks like and it's really only you know obviously visible on open wheeled cars like if you're a GT3 runner or a prototype driver you know any kind of car that the wheel sits in the wheel hub you're not really going to notice it too much, but open wheel cars, well, I think it's, I think it's kind of cool, you know, it just adds to the realism, which is what we all want. So, we'll play through here a little bit. I'll kind of speed it up a little bit so we don't have all that engine noise in the background. Now, obviously, I've already put some wear on the tire. I'm just going to go through a lap and you can kind of see it gets a little wider and I imagine I was kind of waiting to see like because in the description it said you know where parts of the tire kind of peel off and then stick back to itself so I kind of wanted to see if you could see any texture to the tire or was it just mainly visual tire wear and then you kind of see the cord starting to show through as the tire gets a little bit more wear on it and it's definitely that was just an easy lap after the tire already had a bunch of wear on it but it definitely gets worse and progressive. I think uh, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. You can see there, definitely um, a lot more worn after one, you know, one more lap. Now, what I am curious about to what at point percentage where do you really start? Oh, see, that's all the way down to four percent now of course I just kept doing burnouts to speed up the process but that would be a heavily you know obviously a heavily worn tire so I don't think most of us are gonna run a tire down that much in in you know over the course of a normal race but for the most part it is cool that they're implementing different visuals for us to see so overall I like it so the only the one benefit I can see from this is if you're in the middle of a race now me personally I I like races that are 45 minutes or longer I'm more into the kind of endurance thing I don't really run 20 minute you know sprint races very much so I can see in the middle of a, say, an hour long race or 45 minute race, it, your opponent, if you can kind of look at his tires and you, you see this wear, then you might be like, oh wow, okay, he, his tires are wearing down, he's got to take it easy. So it, it may help you in the course of a race when if you can visually see your opponent's tires and it gives you a good indication of how aggressive they can be. So maybe helpful, I guess. Not just a visual, it may actually help you in the middle of a race. So I guess we'll see. But anyway, I wanted to keep this super short, just show everybody what the new uh, tire wear looks like. And I guess that's about it. So if you want, like and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.